If you're looking for the best red light therapy tabletop panel, then this video is for you. I'm going to compare these nine tabletop red light therapy panels behind me and I'm going to test them, see how powerful they are, see how they operate, see what bells and whistles they have on board, talk about warranty, everything like that. I'm going to cover it all and help you find the best product for your needs. I just want to explain what I'm trying to look for here. I, I want something that is exceptionally well powered. I want something that's got some cool features in it, all right? I also want something that looks good, and I also want something that's nice to use. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to remove any panel that doesn't have multi-wave technology or multi-wave LEDs. Okay, first up, Rojo Therapy, they have four wavelengths, so they remain. Biomax from Platinum LED, five, six wavelengths, so they remain. Uh, Infrared Flex, they have four or five wavelengths, so they remain. Mito Red, Mito Pro, they have four wavelengths, so they remain. Dermabeam Pro 300, unfortunately they're off. They only use 660 and 850 nanometer light. The Huga Pro 300, 660 and 850 nanometer, they're out. Now remember, just because I'm removing them doesn't mean they're a bad panel. Uh, that particular panel, the Huga for instance, uh, came out one of the best panels in my first video, uh, so you can go back and check that out. Uh, it's just that, again, I'm, I'm trying to look for something exceptional here all right the red rush pulse 400 now they only use 660 and 850 as well so they'll be gone but i'm gonna i'm gonna talk about that panel and the juve at the end and then luminos red yeah they're only 660 and 850 so off there you go okay so why did i leave these two panels they deserve a special mention okay so juve you probably know is well known in the red light therapy space probably the biggest company out there are very, very expensive. Um, I'm not a big fan. They do some things really well, but some things not so well. Uh, check out my full review for more. They only offer 660 and 850 nanometer light, which is, I think it's a bummer. I wanna mention it though in this performance round because it does have a nice app and you can track your usage, uh, your sessions, and it's got some reminders in there. It's made out of plastic. Most of the panels, or all of the panels, are, are metal, so they're quite heavy. So this is a little bit lighter. It's different to all the other panels from a design point of view, and I have to give Juve credit there. And let's come to the Red Rush Pulse 400. Now, it's unique in the sense that it offers pulsing, uh, and it's quite a large panel, and it comes with this stand that allows you to change it to all sorts of different heights. It's quite large for a tabletop panel, but some people will like that. Now, you know what? I left Juve in. I'm gonna leave the Red Therapy Red Rush in as well because it is so large. It does have those pulsing options, so. Okay, so there's six now. What I'm gonna do for the next round is we're gonna look at advanced features. Whether a panel has pulsing and or dimming, something else quite novel or unique. So let's run through these. The Rojo Light Therapy over here has pulsing, uh, zero hertz through to 20 hertz. You can choose which one. Plus it also has dimming, so you can lower the intensity down to you know 5% or you can have 50% red light intensity, 100% near infrared. You can sort of customize it. Uh, so we're gonna leave Rojo in because it has both of those functions. So Platinum LED Biomax doesn't have pulsing, but it does have the dimming feature. Not only that, it's quite a nice dimming feature. You can go all the way down to 1%, really conserve on, on energy uh, usage and, and use it as a background ambient light. And it's operated through a touchscreen control panel, which we'll look at later on. Plus it has the blue, blue LEDs. I know we talked about LED, uh, the wavelengths before, but it's got two LEDs in there that you can turn off if you don't want. They're operating at 480 nanometer light. So that's quite novel. It's the only panel to offer that. So we're keeping the Biomax in. Next up, we have the Infrared Flex Mini. Now, this is actually quite similar to the Rojo Light Therapy Light. Uh, it does have the dimming function and it also has the pulsing, so we're keeping that in. Next, we have the Mito Red Mito Pro 300. Now, this doesn't have dimming and it doesn't have pulsing, so for that reason, I'm removing it. Uh, unfortunately, there's nothing really exceptional from an advanced features point of view here. So we've got two left. We've got the Juve and the Red Therapy Pulse. 400. Now we've already talked about these and because they do have those advanced features is it's why I kept them in. So just real quick, the Juve has pulsing at 10 hertz only, but it also has the dimming function. You have to use an app for that uh, to unlock that feature. You can't do it on the device, but it is still an option. Now the Red Rush 400 has the pulsing uh, from zero through to 40 hertz in predetermined um, rates up there. So, okay, now we're going to look at whether these panels have remotes or apps. The Rojo Therapy device does come with a remote. Platinum LED comes with a remote and an app. Infrared Flex comes with a little remote. 
The Juve doesn't have a remote, but does have an app. And the Red Rush over here doesn't come with a remote or an app. We're gonna remove this one. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is talk about stand options and how you can customize the height and, and, and tilt of these four panels. Real quick, the Rojo Therapy comes with a built-in stand. It's made of plastic. The color is a little bit different to the color of the panel, so it doesn't look super amazing. It does have two hinge points though, so you can tilt it, lower it, and raise it. Pretty cool. I'm tempted to get rid of it because of the color mismatch. Remember, we're looking for premium products here, and that just looks like, uh, what's going on there? I'll leave it in for now. We'll see how it goes. Next up, we have the Platinum LED Biomax 300. Now, this stand is really, 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 really nice. The stand is made out of metal. It's branded in the same way as the panel. The paint color matches. It looks really, really sleek. They also have another stand option for this panel, and it's like a pivot stand, so you can really move it around and do everything. Doesn't look super nice, but functionality is really, really good. So you've got options if you go with the Bimax. Infrared over here, uh, as I pick it up, one thing I should mention, they got hand grip in the back, which is nice. Now I've just got this little kickstand. It works, it does the job. You can tilt it there like that, but you can't adjust the height like you can with Rojo. I know you can't adjust the height with Platinum either, but this here, you're really only gonna use it like so. Maybe you can angle it back a little bit more. If you go any further than that, it's probably going to yeah, fall down. So you're kind of restricted in what you can do here. You can stand it up like so, and it does have the metal hooks on the top so you can hang it. But that is true for the other panels I've looked at as well. And then next up we have the Juve. You can't adjust the height. It's just got the hinge and it's a little bit restricted. You can only move it to that angle, down to there. The stand is really, really nice though. You just clip it off. You don't have to screw. A lot of these stands, if you want to take them off, you've got to get a screwdriver out and and some tools. You don't have to with Juve. Juve also offer a boot stand option and a wall hanging option and a door hanging option, but expect to pay 50, 100, $150 for those stands. We'll keep all of that in, in consideration. Now we're gonna look at just overall design and looks. Like you want something that looks nice, right? If you're going for a premium product. Juve looks great. I'm gonna keep them in. Infrared, it doesn't look bad. I don't know what to say. It doesn't have that real pop that say the Juve has. So we'll come back to that. Platinum, I, I like it. I really do like it. You got the branding on the top. This, the fact that the stand all matches in is really nice. Branding on the side, nice coloring. Rojo Therapy, I think because of that color mismatch. I mean, it looks good, but again, it's, it's, it's a big letdown. So you know what? Because of the stand comments and stuff, I'm gonna remove these two. They're good panels. They're very similar spec, actually. If you look at them, they're both really nice panels. Design-wise, the only flaw with, with Platinum is this little bit that sticks out on the side. It's, it's nothing major, but for some people, it would really b bother them. The Juve has done exceptionally well to uh, have a second chance and then make it through to the final round. What I'm gonna do is share some, some hard data because we have a head-to-head -head situation here. I'm gonna share some hard data and I'm gonna let you decide what you think is the best overall. Let's look at LEDs. 100 LEDs, 60 LEDs. Uh, let's look at power output. We have an average irradiance figure of 53 for the Juve higher is better, and 70 for the Biomax. In fact, this is the most powerful tabletop panel I've tested out of all nine. Now, that's one thing I haven't even touched on in this video. That alone could be a reason why the Biomax is, your, is the best option here. That's a big difference. It also means that the Biomax is putting out 47 watts across the whole panel. The Juve is only putting out 28. That, that's big, big difference. Now, keep those numbers in mind because we're gonna look at price now. The Biomax 300, $570, discount code Alex will save you 5%, so $540, free shipping to the States, $80 shipping international. So about five, 600 bucks, okay? The Juve, <laughs> wait for it, 1,100 US dollars, twice the price of this, no discount code, and that price doesn't include shipping or taxes. If you want the ship to an address in New York, you'll pay 130 bucks extra. California, about $120 extra. If you want it shipped to your door in Australia, $275 extra. Okay, what else have we got in here? Warranty, three years on the Biomax, two years on the Juve. Wavelengths, we already touched on this. Six wavelengths in here, two wavelengths in here. Pulsing, the Juve does have pulsing. Platinum LED doesn't. Okay, so control panel wise. Now the Juve is a rather basic design. It's got uh, an old school LCD screen, uh, a few buttons. It's very simple to use, I like it, 
but it's a little bit outdated. I mean, this was around in their second gen panel. You know, it would have been nicer to see something fresh for their third gen, but in particular, you compare it to the Biomax. Now the Biomax has a touchscreen control panel. Very simple to use, the menus all work well, and you can go through and do some pretty neat stuff in terms of controlling the intensity. So another big win for the Biomax there, they both use an app. Now the Platinum LED, Biomax app is just the same control panel as what you're seeing here, but it's on your phone. Juve app, a little bit different, okay? You've got to create an account. I, I personally don't like that. You can then control the panel just like you can with Platinum, and it also unlocks some other uh, options that you can't do on the panel. I don't like that either. I'm like, put all the options on the panel, you know? Um, they're just minor features like the ambient mode and um, a beep timer. But the Juve app does track your sessions and performance over time. Overall, for the, the use and controls point of view, I think the Biomax is better here. The only thing missing is that app that tracks your data. Otherwise, the Biomax is, is nice all around. The last point I'm gonna to touch on here is sound and EMF. And both of these features are wins for the Biomax. So the Biomax 300, I tested it at six inches, 48 decibels. The Juve, six inches, 52 decibels. So it's a louder panel. Plus the sound on here wasn't great. It's, it's more of a whiny whir. The Biomax is more of a background, you know, white noise fan sound. The other thing is EMF. Platinum Biomax, no EMF issues. The Juve has quite high electric field readings and that's because it doesn't use a grounded plug. So as you can see, we now have one panel left. And yes, that is the Platinum LED Biomax 300. I think it is the most premium, the most performance orientated panel out of the nine panels I've just tested. Here are the, the two things I would be critical with. One is that little overhang with the, uh, the stand, very, very minor. Most people won't care about it. Secondly, it doesn't have pulse in, but someone who wants all the bells and whistles may see that as a downside. Now, if you've enjoyed this, please let me know. If you've come to a different conclusion after watching my videos and maybe checking out my stats, uh, I'd love to hear what you thought is the number one premium sort of performance orientated panel. Of course, be sure to use discount code Alex, A-L-E-X, if you're gonna buy any of these panels. I appreciate the support. All right, guys, I'll see you later, bye.